Hi, this is Jason with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to add a blur to your YouTube, YouTube videos. So basically, on YouTube, they do give you some editing power um, to actually edit, add blurs to your videos. So you can blur out people's faces or blur out a name or blur out important information you don't want to share with your YouTube community. And I love sharing with you guys, but some things I don't want to share with you. <laughs> so that's what this is going to show you how to do, especially... If you upload to YouTube for the first time, if you uploaded to YouTube many times, you might have not realized that the editing, um, this editing option was there. So I'm going to show you actually how to do that. But before we get going, please hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps out our channel. And also hit the like button on this video. That really does help out the video get more views. And that's what we want. And we want people to see um, how to do these things more. So the more views, the more better. So the first thing we want to do is go to our YouTube account, and which I'm already in our Dave's Computer Tip one, we're on the home page, and then we want to go up to the top right where your profile circle is, your image. Click on that. That'll give you a drop-down menu, and you want to go down to YouTube Studio. Pretty simple. Just click on that. Then once we're in here, you're going to look to the far side, and you're going to click on the far menu on the left side. So you're going to go down this menu on the side and you're going to go to videos right here right under dashboard so click on that and once you click on that it's going to open up all your videos you have in here we have lots of videos and then what we're going to do is we're going to go pick a video that you want to add blurs to so i'm going to pick the last one i just uploaded so if you haven't seen this one go check it out how to take control of facebook newsfeed very good one i think it is um i'm not biased or anything so then we're going to hit we're just going to click on the picture. That's much easier. Then now you're in the video details. So this is where you add all your information, all like that. But what you want to do now is you're going to look to the left menu again, and you're going to go down to editor. So this is the YouTube editor. So we're going to go in here. And then once you're on the YouTube editor, this is where the magic can start working and happening. So right down here, you're going to blur parts of your video which is very simple, link right down in the middle. So you can click on that. It's going to ask you, do you want to blur all the faces in the video or do you want a custom blur? So if we want to blur all the faces, we're going to click that right now. We're going to blur all the faces in the video. So if there's any faces in this video, they're all going to be blurred. So it's going to start detecting any faces. It's going to scan your entire video for people's faces. So if they think it's a face, it's like that stop sign thing you get where how many pictures have a stop sign in it you know the security thing sort of like that so they're looking for all the faces in the video so they're going to have to do that so that's going to take a minute and when that is done i'll it might take a little while so we'll wait for that to do it so as you can see right here it says we're processing your video feel free to explore youtube in the meantime processing will continue in the background so this will take a little while so we're just gonna we'll come back when it's done okay now it's done processing the faces and it found only three faces at my mug and two other people in my um on the video they saw faces of so if you want to blur them all you click select select all i'm not gonna blur my face why would i do that okay so once you're done doing that you're gonna hit apply and here we go and now it's going to process it. Now, that's how you can have it blur faces. And the cool thing is it shows you down here where that face was blurred. So it gives you the locations of the two people that their face popped up. And these are the locations is blurred. Now, the thing about this is it's not totally accurate. I found out it's kind of messed up that way. But it's not accurate because I know there's more faces in this than what they're showing. So the, the system doesn't always get it right. So that's another reason why I sometimes, it, it, sometimes it does. I admit it. Sometimes it gets them right, but sometimes it misses a face. So that's when you want to go to custom blur. But before we do that, make sure you hit the save before you move on. Because if you don't hit save, it won't save all the work you did. So we're going to hit save. So we're going to do save. And then it'll give you this warning. It says save changes. It might take a few hours, see, for your changes to apply during that time. Viewers will see the current version of the video. So it, the blur won't go away. So if it's up live, then it's going to take a little bit to go away. You might have it set as private, then you can do it too. But And that's the one thing I should tell you that you must have this uploaded to YouTube before you can actually do the blurs and edits. So make sure that's done. While you wait, you can leave this site. So all that stuff. So you're just going to hit save. And now it's going to save. It's thinking about it. Look, it's spinning now. 
So now it's done. So now it's going to process that. So go through the video for right now. That's what it's going to do. So the video is being processed. Please check back later. Done. Now you can't do anything in here anymore. So you're done for now. And when, when it comes back, I'll show you how to do the custom blur. Hey guys. Okay. So I decided I'm not going to wait because obviously it's going to take hours and I want to get my video done. So I'm going to go into a different video to show you how to do custom blur. So we're going to go into this TikTok video I did about TikTok, which was called how to upload a TikTok video from your computer. If you want to watch it, go check it out. Uh, what we're going to do this, we're going to go in here like we did before, click on it, and then it's going to be in here and you're going to go to the left side again, and then you go down to editor, editor, go in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click that same spot, blur parts in the middle here of your video, and we're going to go to custom. So click on custom blur this time. Okay, now we're inside the video editor part of the custom blur. This gives you the custom blur section right here. Um, now, it obviously it put one on the front because I hit custom blur at the time, and that's where my uh, my timeline was stopped on. So I don't, want it, I don't want it there. So I usually just delete this really fast since that's not the spot I want. So if you click on this, right click on it, and then you can just hit the delete. Or you can hit the trash can, but I like to just hit the delete button on my keyboard. So it makes it go away. So this disappears now because you don't have a custom blur in there yet. So they don't need to give you the properties of it. But what we want to do is find a spot in our video. We want to add the custom blur. So what I like to do is I go down here, hold down my left. You see, you can click, you click everywhere. Just keep clicking until you find the spot you want. You can actually drag this by holding. So you get those two little arrows, hold down your left mouse button, and then you can drag it and just hold it down. You can drag it to where you want. Now, where I want it is right here. So I'm going to put one right, it's really close. There it goes. So right here, I want to put a blur. So to do a blur, you have to go down here again, hit blur parts of your video since it's now in the right location. So we're going to click on that and that's still going to ask the same question. I'm going to hit custom blur. And now I have the custom blur properties and now I added a blur. So it, I don't know what it, how it thinks to add this much blur time, but we'll, we can adjust that and I'll show you how to do that here. So what you do is now you can go up here and you can actually drag this to where you want it, your blur square and you actually can have a blur oval too so i don't want an oval i want a rectangle actually it's a rectangle you're right you can hold down the left mouse button and drag this to where you want it i'm going to put it right on top of these faces let go and it's going to now you can adjust the size of it easily by just grabbing the little dots around the the rectangular and drag it the rectangular it's like, it sounds like a villain <laughs> it's a new batman villain uh use that okay so so if, Mar if, if you get DC's listening, <laughs> but there's a new villain for you. So you can grab this and enlarge it to where you want. And so now this is the size I want it. Now I want we want to make sure it's blurring for the right amount of time so it doesn't miss the blur. So especially with uh, private information, you don't want people to see. You want to make sure the blur stays on that private information while you're you know doing your video. So what you want to do to adjust the time, the duration of your blur, you go down to the timeline again. You can do it a couple ways. You can either grab, see the blue, but that's where your blur is. So you can actually go to the end of it and it gives you those two little arrows. So you can hold down the left and drag it to where you want at the time. See how I drag it? That's it, let go. Or you can do it the other side and drag it longer or shorter. But I find it easier to get a precise um, time on your video by going to this up here at the very top custom blur to the right of that is your minutes seconds and frames so this is what that is and you have a delete i don't want to delete it but i want to change the time so where do i want it to start so i'm going to check i'm going to hold down the left and move this to where i want it i'll start it here just right before the pictures come up so that should be 10321 so you just go up here change this last one by highlighting the end number to 21 so it matches i get that that's 21 if you let go of that, then it will adjust it. Then when when do I want it to end? So you go down here again, get this to grab the timeline bar and you drag this until you find the spot you want. That's holding down the left click again um, with the, the player line. So you go down here and then that's okay. So it's really close to that area. So it might doesn't have to be exact. So that's the spot I want it to end. So now it needs to be 11806. So you go to the other side right here, the left box. And you can actually change this to 118. So you can actually just delete this and then go 18. And then it's going to be 06. Very easy. Just do do an 06. And now it will last for that duration. So that's the way you can adjust the duration of your blur, which I like because I like to get specific, you know, pinpoint the exact time. And, you know, it makes it look more professional. 
And then what you also have a couple more options in here, you can actually scroll down. And then when you scroll down, you're going to see, okay, the rectangle, like I said, the oval, so you can change it to more of an oval shape, which is fine. But when you adjust these, it almost turns into a, so you can turn it into a circle if you want. You can do whatever you want because you can control that. So what you want to do is I'm going to keep it as a rectangle. And then you have blur behavior. Now, blur behavior is kind of nice because you have track object. So once you blur that, blur that object itself, it will track it on your video. So if you scroll up or down, it's going to try to keep the the blur on top of it at all times. It's a very nice. It's a very nice tool because I like to move around a lot. If you haven't noticed by my mouse movements. So what you want to do is then you have fixed blur. Fixed blur position. Basically, it stays wherever you are on the screen. It doesn't go away from that part. So no matter what you do, it stays right there. So that's another good option if you need that. But I like doing the track object option because I move I move my screen a lot when I'm going up and down on, you know, the uh, like windows or if I'm on a website showing you something, I move a lot. So once you're done with all that, so now you have your, let's say you have it all set up. And of course I screwed it up because I changed things. When you change things, it will adjust the um, time, which sucks. So I would suggest doing these first blur and then track or fix blur position and then do your time. Because obviously, as you can tell, it just jumped like to, <laughs> to where I didn't need it. And then I did fix, so it moved my blur. So those are the important things to look at when you're doing it. Then after you're done, so I'm gonna blur that face, not for very long. I'm gonna grab this, just like I told you, you can go down here and do it really fast by holding down the left click on the end when the two arrows appear and dragging the blur all the way over to here. I'm just gonna do that. And then I can drag the blur back or whatever. So let's fix that real quick before we finish today. See how it's kind of tracking now? So it's not in the right spot though. That's hilarious, but you get the point. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. You get the point. And then anytime you move something or you enlarge something, it tries to, it's interesting how that works. So, but the, the main point is make sure you do all the adjustments where you want the blur and then change the duration. Cause obviously it's going to adjust. And then if you're all done very easily, go up here to the right and hit save changes. So if you hit save changes, it will do its process and it'll be done. And actually I'll do that right now. I'll, I'll fix this later if I need to. I can remove the blur later. So I'm gonna hit save. And it's gonna give you this warning. It might take a few hours like it did on the custom, not did on the face blur. It's gonna give you the same warning. It's gonna take a while, blah, blah, blah. People are still gonna see your old version, but later, you know, when this is done, they'll see the new version. So hit save and then there we go. As you can see, it, the video is being processed. Please check back later. And this usually takes a while. And I like how it's showing a blur over here, which is not even there. Uh, but that's it. That's how easy it is to add a blur to your YouTube videos, doing it with having them do it by like finding all the faces or custom blurring it yourself. And that's it. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. Uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching <laughs>